Okay, next one. Two trapezoids of figure are similar. Um, if AB is 10, AD is 12, CD is 8, and LK is 18. What is L and M? I want to know this angle here. All right, so what proportion can I set up? Williams, you got an idea? No. It's 42 on your paper. Um, <laughs> it's 42 on your paper? Yeah. 43 on yours? Yeah. 42. Maybe you just accidentally put that one there too. It's not 41 on your paper? No. No, it's 43. 43. And let's do this in English. Sorry. What proportion can we set up? I got 10, 12, and 8, and I got 18, and I need to find this X. So which sides correspond? Um, a, D, and K, L. So we can do 12 over 18, right? Mm -hmm. Equals? X over 10. Twelve over eighteen equals X over eight. Isn't this the one that corresponds to this? Oh. Ten over X. So we cross multiply, we get twelve X equals one hundred and eighty. Divide by twelve. X is equal to 15. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. Desiree is designing two flower beds for her backyard. Flower beds are to be similar rectangles. The length of the larger bed will be eight feet, and the length of the smaller bed will be four. So let's... H, four. Desiree wants the width of the larger bed to be five. Uh, for the flower beds to be similar, what should the width of the smaller one be? Okay, so what proportion should we set up? One we just did. One like we just did, yeah. Oh. Uh, eight over four. Eight over four equals five over, five over x. Perfect. So that's eight x equals twenty divided by eight. What does that give you? Two and a half? Mm -hmm. 2.5. Questions on that one? Next one, equilateral triangle is contained within the isosceles trapezoid shown. An equilateral triangle, what does that mean? Okay. So this equals this equals this, right? Um, isosceles trapezoid, what does that mean? The two legs are the same, right? So this is the trapezoid they're talking about. The whole thing is a trapezoid. So this side has to equal this side then. Okay. Um, what is the measure of the largest angle in the diagram, ignoring the straight angle? 
All right, so equilateral triangle, what are the angle measures? 30. Oh. 140. They've got to all be the same, right? Equals 90, correct? Let's try it. 180. 180, right? The triangle's 180. All the angles of the triangle equal 180. So divide that by 3, you get 60. Alright? Is it a quadrilateral? Quadrilateral, four sided figure. If you add up all the angles, you get 360. Yep. And wouldn't the bottom be 120 since half of it is 60? Well, it's not half, but part of the. Oh. Yes, it's linear pair, right? So this would be 120, right? Good. Um, this is an isosceles trapezoid, so the base angles, both pairs of base angles have to be the same. So if this is 60, this one over here has to be 60, and this is a. This will be a parallelogram here. Oh, this right that. here will be a parallelogram because we know this is parallel, right? Because it's a trapezoid. So the other one would be 120. So opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. So this would be 60. So the largest angle up there is 120. Questions on that one? My 43, oh, it's what, 45 or something? 46. 48, 48. 48, okay. All right, next one, we've got two more. You gonna make it? Oh, you're on. Doing great. All right, what is the missing property? The missing property uh, of the, of equality for the algebraic proof? Multiplication. All right, so we start out with this. That's given to us. What they do to get from uh, statement one to statement two? What they do? They minus two x of both sides, right? So they that's where the subtraction property comes in. That's they went from here to here by using the subtraction property. So look at, at statements two to statement three. What do they do? They added seven to both sides. So what do you think it would be? Addition, Addition property. Good. Very good. Questions on that one? Okay. It's different on his paper. You all have this one, right? Okay. All right, Joe, use the steps uh, for completing a construction. Use a compass to draw a circle O. So let's draw on this. Basically, what did Joe construct? We're going to try to follow these steps and then see which one he constructed. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he first draws a circle O. Huh. Okay, uh, <laughs> use a straight edge. He uses a straight edge to draw diameter AB. So A, B, diameter, right? Whoops. And then what's the next thing? He uses a compass and straight edge to construct the perpendicular bisector of AB. So he takes AB, cuts it in half, bisects it, and draws a perpendicular line through it. 90 degrees. So this equals this. Uh, and then it says, he labels the points where the perpendicular bisector intersects the circle at C and D. So labels them C and D. And then he uses a straight edge to draw AD, DB, BC, and CA. What did Joe construct? An inscribed triangle, an inscribed square, an inscribed rectangle, or an inscribed hexagon? Triangle. Hexagon. Uh, inscribed square. All, each of these sides would be the exact same way.
Questions on that one? No. Okay.